It was sort of a legacy. Uh, Cleveland has always been about winning. I, was, I want to be a part of that too. Uh, I just wanted to win. I want to be one of the best. I want to be on that team. I want to get the rings. That's sort of been my, my driving factor. I, I guess I would say it like this. None of my kids were ever hungry for more wrestling. There was always an opportunity if they wanted it to, um, to be on the mat. So, and, and that's probably what we've, what we've loved the most, you know. But Josh also is somebody who, man, he will yell at you and he will get in your face but you know he loves those kids. He loves those kids. I remember once in one of the kids' clubs practices, Josh yelling at them because nobody was listening to him. And he said, hey, I love you, but I will kill you. Get back over there and do what I said. And, uh, and all the kids are grinning and they immediately did what he said. At Cleveland's done a good job of preparing me for like, you know, dual meets at high school. And uh, it's, uh, it's all connected to it's like middle school kids and the high school kids. and. The, Club kids, little high school kids, middle school kids, it's all um, connected. Started out uh, coming in, watching Cleveland High School wrestling whenever I was about four. My uncle Dwayne brought me in and uh, really just fell in love with it from there. Yeah, I think the room of like the people in it, there was also a lot more like competition in, in within the room. Like we were, everybody was going after each other and and helping each other get better. And then when we weren't wrestling each other, then, then it was a really good support system outside of it. When we were wrestling somebody else, it was a really big support system. And you, those, all those people had your back. For me, I'd say like, I just wanna keep seeing improvements in my wrestling. And as long as I'm, there's always things to work on. And as long as I'm fixing stuff and keep working towards like new goals, that's, that's what I wanna do. I wanna keep climbing the ladder. I don't, if I hit a block, then we work on it and get through it. That's just, I want to keep improving. That's my goal, I think. That's Cleveland wrestling, right? You know, you got kids that just could wrestle anywhere, uh, so can't always wrestle because their toughest matches are the ones in their own wrestling room. That's also what makes them good, right? It makes them, you know, when, you, when you're a freshman and you have to roll around with Trey McDaniel, right? And just get, beat on and beat on and beat on, you get better. I don't, I, I, personally, I've never burned out on anything that was fun. And I think that if you're having fun, then you're not gonna burn out. If it stops being fun, then you've gotta, you, you have to reevaluate it. And, and I've learned that from these coaches here, so. There, I just go up to big tournaments like New Jersey and all up north, Pennsylvania, that type of thing. And then if you find success there, you, you just, you gotta keep working, get back to the practice room, see what you did wrong, keep working. We saw some great success on the girls' team, but seeing them be able to come together and be able to defeat, defeat some of the best teams in the state, um, and just seeing that success for, for the coaches and how excited that that made Piper, um, you know, being part of being part of that um, was pr was pretty exciting. It was pretty exciting. We're we're a legacy, sort of built up, and sort of built it into like an empire. Where it's such a high expectation, and expectation is sort of a word that I put on Cleveland wrestling. We have for every year we're state champ, state champ, state champ, and that that's how you say winning. That's Cleveland wrestling right there.